process begins with the construction of a silicone mold to produce the first version of the boot, after which the first shell will be built from resin for fit testing. You would take um, your, literally your prototype and then pour silicone around it and what you end up with is a big you know, a block of silicone like this and then you cut it open and then you've got you know, a silicone mold which you can mold a few pieces to test. Right? And then out of it, out of resin. Next, the technicians painstakingly carve out the silicone shells to refine the fit. The model will go through several versions before the fit is fine tuned. After the fit is complete, a resin boot is constructed for on snow testing. Once the fit is perfected, aluminum molds are built for each size of each model. Each size of each boot model is constructed by hand. Lower shell molds are built separate from upper shell molds. All molds are stamped with a manufacture date, so it can be determined exactly when a boot was produced. It's interesting to note that the only difference between a glossy shell finish and a matte finish is whether the mold has been polished. No other changes are necessary. Finished molds are sent to the production line for the injection process. The raw PU is injected into the mold and fills the gaps inside to create the shell. The press injects another mold while the finished shells are removed and cleaned. Any shells that have any imperfections are ground up to recycle the PU into other plastic products. Mm -hmm.